Hello everyone, welcome back to a new account tutorial. This is video number 15. Today we'll be pushing to arena number 6. And let's open our silver chest first. We get 63 gold, we get 7 skeleton dragon, and we get a Valkyrie. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, oh, uh, I think I switched up some decks. And I think I'm gonna use deck number 1. And let's just push for trophies. Let's go, let's go. Um, we're facing up against the king level six. All right, let's start off by splitting bats. Okay, you put a wizard. Um, I guess I'll put musketeer. Hmm. Now I either have um probably gonna put Valkyrie here and put mini pekka here. Come on, save my musketeer. Yes, okay. Let's put skeletons to distract the mini P.E.K.K.A. Never mind, the mini P.E.K.K.A. is gonna die. Alright. I mean, the skeletons are gonna die. Oh no. Can we Barbarian Barrel? And save the tower? <gasps> we did save the tower. Well, kind of. And we, somehow we took out <laughs> the other tower. Okay, I don't know how, but yeah, we did it, man. I think it was just mini P.E.K.K.A. and Musketeer. That's pretty impressive. That should take out the Valkyrie. Nice. All right. Hmm. Oh, they have a witch. That's not good. They're playing witch giant skeleton. Interesting. Oh yeah, guys. If you didn't know, um, giant skeleton before it drops a bomb and deals like eight hundred damage when it's like level six, which is base level. But now it got nerfed by Supercell. So what happened is that they added a thing called uh, Princess Tower Damage where if you have to carry the bomb all the way here to drop to drop the bomb that just makes no sense because everybody knows to like get the giant skeleton out of the way so the bomb doesn't drop on the tower and do you know how they nerfed it? They nerfed it by lowering its bomb um, damage like right here, like it only does a balloon's death bomb damage, which is makes it makes no sense because why would you change that before it was so perfect for a six elixir card? You do like 500 damage when you die, like that makes no sense. Like, why did they even do that? I don't know, like it makes no sense why it drops the same. Damage. Look at the bomb. It's just so big. It drops like 400 damage after it dies. Before it's like 800 damage. They, they like half the damage. Oh my god. We need a goblin cage here. Okay. Left side should be okay. Yeah. We're okay. Hmm. It just makes no sense. Like why they nerfed the giant skeleton so much. Uh, I think that's it. I should be game. Good game. Okay. So right now, nobody's going to play Giant Skeletons anymore. Unless those people don't know what it is. Or like, they didn't know the death damage was that low. Yes, we get to unlock Balloon. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Did we get to unlock Balloon? Yeah, when we reach 1800. Oh, we get a Legendary too. Um, I might hold off that because I really want to make a knight. So, yeah. Um, should we do triple elixir battle? I feel like we should just do normal battles. I think so. Um, okay. Hmm. Facing someone with no clan. Interesting. Let's split bats as the start. Since that's the only card we want to play. Okay, he dropped a mini pick. Let's drop our musketeer. Now we have skeletons in hand, which is perfect. Right now, I want to play the goblin cage and then put skeletons here to defend our musketeer. Yes, nice. Put Valkyrie here. And then the wizard should retarget on the Valkyrie and we put bats to just make sure. It's really not necessary to put bats. It just, it's just my habit of like, 
putting stuff. I probably should have Barbarian Barrel there to save our Musketeer. That's alright, Valkyrie gets one hit. Two hits. Nice. Almost a third. Let's drop our Witch. Spawn the Skeletons. Yeah. I think I'm going to drop a Musketeer. I think he's going to drop a Valkyrie. Oh, no, he is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I have to mini pack at this. Boom. Wizard get two hits. Mini pack of kills. It gets three hits. Wow. Let's drop our skeletons. Drop our bats. So we get our witch back. Drop the witch again. I know he has Valkyrie in here, so I'm not gonna play Musketeer. Or maybe I'm gonna play Musketeer like all the way here. Let's play Musketeer all the way here and then put Mini Pekka. Okay, good. Mini Pekka survives. The giant should die. And then put Valkyrie. Let's put Bass as well. He's probably gonna arrow. He's not gonna arrow. Oh my god, our witch is still alive. He's gonna spawn. Um, yeah, it did spawn, but it got killed by the arrows. Let's drop another witch. Is it gonna giant? Is it gonna put giant? No? Okay, let's put a musketeer here. Let's put a uh, mini pack all the way here. Is it gonna scale some army? No. Okay, let's put a goblin cage. Uh, let's put Barbarian Barrel and um, Valkyrie. Oh, I probably shouldn't have Barbarian Barrel. He has Goblin Barrel. What? He's waiting for me to play that. Dude. <laughs> Wait, we might actually get something here. We might actually get a big push here. As long as we just kill the Skeleton Army. Oh, there's no Skeleton Army. Oh, okay. Good game. <laughs> That's a close one. He's waiting for me to drop that Barbarian Barrel. Because he has Goblin Barrel and Skeleton Army. Yeah. That's why I need a double small spell. So, I'm probably going to give... Mm, the card that I really want is Mega Knight. Because it's a big tank. And then use it, you can just use it against anything, basically. Like against Pekka, it can tank as long as you have a Musketeer, you're okay. But right now in my deck, I have no tanks. Well, I have one, two. These are like mini tanks, I guess. Look, it has uh, 1,200 HP. Mini Pekka has lower 853. Yes, Goblin Cage has a decent amount of HP. Uh, 600 HP and the Goblin Brawler has 600. So about like 1,200. So I guess like that's pretty good. Yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.